Well, we're back in Ephesians chapter number two. We're going to take the next few verses this morning, uh, verses eight through 10. And what I really want to get across to you is that we weren't saved by something we did to deserve it. That's important because I think that some people might believe that, well, I wasn't that bad. So, so of course, God would choose me to be saved because, you know, I kind of deserved it anyway. The, the truth is salvation is God's grace to us that causes us to do his good works. And, and it's supposed to be a, a moment where we can feel the pressure is off because in our society, we're always trying to prove ourselves. We're always trying to make people love us. And, and there's a lot of people out there that are saying, I don't make anybody love me, but then they scream out, look at me, accept me. And then maybe we, even now in our society, we're trying to make laws that force people to accept people. And, and so we, we're all fighting for this acceptance, but God is offering it freely to us. You put your trust and faith in him, and he will save you. He will accept you as you are. And then together you will uh, forge out a life together that pleases and honors him. And think about the pressure is off. You don't have to deserve God's love. He already loves you. He wants to have you as his own. If you've placed your faith in Jesus, God's works are simply statements of gratitude and good works are the marks of a genuine uh, salvation, a genuine life change. And so listen to what he says in, in Ephesians 2 verses 8 through 10. He says this, he says, for by grace are ye saved through faith and not of yourselves. It is the gift of God and it's not of works, lest any man should boast. I mean, could you imagine if we walked into heaven going, well, about time you let you, know, you open the gates to me because I've deserved this for years. And the, the truth is you've never deserved it. You've just been given it. So you have access because God has given it to you by his grace. Look at the next verse. It says, for we are his workmanship created in Christ Jesus unto good works, which God hath before ordained that we should walk in them. And so there's this expectation of being, uh, being able to do good works because God has put his grace in us and he's empowered us to do better things with our lives. And so be encouraged. You weren't saved by something you did to make you deserve it or be worthy of it. It's by God's grace and his love that he's extended it to you. And that should take the pressure off. Now we approach the word of God with God. What would you want me to do? What pleases you? What honors you? So I can live out my life in gratitude for what you've done for me. It's a totally different approach to how to please the Lord. Receive Christ as your Savior. That pleases the Lord. And then together, you, with God's grace, his power, his encouragement, can forge a life that is honoring to him, and it is honoring even to us. Hope that helps you have a great day.